beautiful day. The green trees, the chirping birds, the... Hello, who's this? Looks like Unchip Manso. What's he doing in the jungle? Oh, Unchip Manso. Why are you here? Oh, all right. You're on a camping and fishing trip. Caught any fish? Okay, you're trying to cook them, right? It's pretty simple actually. First of all, we need to start a fire. We need something that can burn. I see we have some dried leaves and twigs over there. Next, we need oxygen. I can see oxygen everywhere in the air. Now we need something hmm, that can help us make fire. But there is nothing around here that can help us make fire. How are we to cook the fish without fire? Hmm. Yes! Friction between two stones can produce heat and therefore makes fire. Now, go and get some stones from over there. And so you carried a matchbox all along. Come on, quickly light up the fire. We don't want our stomach empty for too long now, do we? Very good, Enchit Manso. Now let me explain more about what had just happened. No, Enchit Manso. We shall watch cartoons some other time. Right now, we're going to learn about oxygen and combustion. <laughs> combustion is the changes that occur when substances burn in the air and combine chemically with oxygen. Heat and light energy are released during combustion. Combustion can only occur when three conditions are satisfied. First, the fuel. Fuel is a substance that can burn. Examples of fuels are leaves and twigs, charcoal, petroleum and alcohol second is the oxygen and third the heat now fuel cannot burn if its temperature is not high enough to ignite it this high temperature is what we call heat The fire triangle shows the three conditions that has to be present for combustion to occur. Watch carefully and remember the conditions. First, fuel. Second, oxygen. And third, heat.
The most important condition that is required for combustion is oxygen. Here is an experiment to prove that oxygen is needed for combustion. Apparatus and materials needed are Bunsen burner, crucible, charcoal, gas jar, glass trough, marker pen, tongs, and water. The constant variable in this experiment is the initial volume of air in the gas jar. The manipulated variable is the burning of charcoal. The response is the volume of air left in the gas jar. Now let's go to the procedures. First, fill a glass trough with water. Next, place an inverted gas jar into the trough. Then, mark the water level in the gas jar. Next, Take the gas jar out of the water and mark the air column in the gas jar into five equal parts. Using tongs, set a piece of charcoal on fire. Put the burning piece of charcoal into a crucible. Place the crucible on the surface of water. Then invert a gas jar over the burning charcoal. And after the burning charcoal stops burning, mark and measure the water level in the gas jar. Look! The charcoal has stopped burning! After the charcoal stopped burning, water level rises and fills one-fifth of the jar. Hmm, so the conclusion is, one-fifth of the volume of air used during combustion is made up of oxygen. This is because the gas that supports the combustion of the charcoal is oxygen. And Chip Manso, you look bored. <laughs> how would you like to see how firemen put out fire? That should cheer you up, but first, you must know why firemen use such technique to help them put out fire. When a fire extinguisher is used, it sprays foam or carbon dioxide to prevent oxygen from getting into the fire. The same concept is used when a fire-resistant blanket is used. The products of combustion depend on the type of fuel used. Let's take a look at the product of combustion using charcoal and kerosene. Charcoal is a type of carbon and kerosene is a type of hydrocarbon. The apparatus and materials needed are a gas jar with a lid that has a hole in the center, a gas jar spoon, Bunsen burner, charcoal and lime water. Light up the Bunsen burner. Using the gas jar spoon, burn the charcoal over the flame. Then put the burning charcoal into the gas jar. Observe what happens to the lime water. Charcoal is an example of carbon. During combustion, carbon dioxide is released. This makes the lime water chalky. The equation for combustion of carbon is carbon 
plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide. The apparatus and materials needed are a gas jar with a lid that has a hole in the center, a gas jar spoon, Bunsen burner, kerosene, and lime water. Light up the Bunsen burner. Heat the kerosene using a gas jar spoon over the flame. Then put the burning kerosene into the gas jar. Observe what happens to the lime water. When the flame is extinguished, observe the wall of the gas jar. There are droplets of liquid formed on the walls of the gas jar. Kerosene is an example of hydrocarbon. During combustion, carbon dioxide is released and this makes the lime water chalky. When kerosene burns, hydrogen combines with oxygen to form hydrogen oxide, that is, water. And water changes the blue cobalt chloride to pink. The equation for combustion of hydrocarbon is hydrocarbon plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. Ah, there, there, Encik Manso, you miss your mother. Yes, we all know that fire is very dangerous and can be disastrous. Yeah, 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 fire is disastrous, but hey, what is life without fire? See, if we do not have combustion, how are we going to make a cup of hot steaming coffee? <laughs> you want me to explain further about the importance of combustion? Combustion plays a very important role in our daily life. For example, cooking. Fuel gas or firewood is burnt at home to get heat, energy for us to cook. To get light energy, firewood is burnt during campfire to get light energy. Oil lamps and candles are lit in places where there is no electricity. To get warmth, coal is burnt in cold countries to get heat energy to warm bodies and the house. To work machines, fuels such as petroleum and diesel are burnt to enable motor vehicles to work and move. Launching rockets Hydrogen fuel is burnt in oxygen to launch rockets. Thank you, Inchip Manso. I don't mind a cup of hot coffee myself. OK, 
Okay, while we are having our hot coffee, let's recall what we have learned today. Combustion is the changes that occur when substances burn in the air and combine chemically with oxygen. Heat and light energy are released during combustion. Combustion can only occur when three conditions are satisfied. First, the fuel. Fuel is a substance that can burn. Examples of fuels are leaves and twigs, charcoal, petroleum and alcohol second is the oxygen and third the heat fuel cannot burn if its temperature is not high enough to ignite it this high temperature is what we call heat the fire triangle shows the three conditions that has to be present for combustion to occur watch carefully and remember the conditions first fuel second oxygen and third heat the products of combustion depend on the type of fuel used charcoal is a type of carbon and kerosene is a type of hydrocarbon during combustion carbon dioxide is released, this makes the lime water chalky. The equation for combustion of carbon is carbon plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide. During combustion, carbon dioxide is released and this makes the lime water chalky. When kerosene burns, hydrogen combines with oxygen to form hydrogen oxide, that is, water. And water changes the blue cobalt chloride to pink. The equation for combustion of hydrocarbon is Hydrocarbon plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. Combustion is a chemical reaction between oxygen and a substance. Combustion produces exciting energy in the form of heat and light. For combustion to occur, there must be a substance that can burn. Oxygen and heat to burn the substance will have a complete combustion. Combustion products will differ Carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water and heat Or light in the form of fire Combustion helps our daily life To clean that world, keep us warm Even to launch a rocket ship Combustion made it for a friend Oh dear, Anjit Manso is sleeping. Anjit Manso, Anjit Manso, wake up. We have a lot more to talk on oxygen and combustion. 
Oh, well, I guess I have to wake him up myself. Encik Mansur, Encik Mansur, wake up! 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 Dear, I've been dreaming. Was that a monkey? What a weird dream. <laughs>